Welcome to Life Mastery Radio with Todd Allen and Jackie Bailey, the show that dives into the science of higher consciousness with inspiring topics such as abundance, intention, health, manifestation, love, and transformation. Join Todd, Jackie, and their guests of leading authors, speakers, coaches, and entrepreneurs weekly at 10 a.m. Pacific. Learn to live a peaceful life with intentional mastery. It's all right here with stories and messages to support your well-being and most evocative dreams. Now, here's your hosts, Todd and Jackie. Again, hey, 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 it's another groovy day, and that's because it's Life Mastery Radio Day. Yay! Hey. It's also groovy because I decide when I get up in the morning, it's going to be a groovy day. It's already figured out. And I start off on my day, and guess what? My day turns out pretty groovy. Something might happen, something might change, but I just think back, hey, I started out groovy. I can turn this around and it does. It turns it around right away. You too can do it too. Find your find your favorite word. I think Jackie knows. Chloe will soon learn that my favorite word is groovy. Feeling groovy. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's also a groovy day. I get to hang out with one of my good friends, Jackie Bailey, on Life Mastery Radio. Hi, Jackie. Hi. It's great to be here. And you I are. apologize if I look like I haven't got any sleep for 24 hours. It's because I haven't gotten any sleep for 24 hours. <laughs> Had to take a red eye from Seattle to uh, Newark, New Jersey, and now I'm in Long Island. So um, came straight here, got on the internet, to, ready to do the show. <laughs> and so, so clue us in. Why are you on Long Island? That's a long ways away. It is a long ways away. Um, beautiful area, though. It's uh, the eastern part of Long Island, so I'm near the coast, and so I get to explore that when I get done here with the show. But um, so I'm after speaking your after, your after my nap. Yes, <laughs> I'm speaking at an event on Saturday that's actually called Speak Events, and this is organized, or at least it was founded and created by a former TED. Ted Honcho. So he was involved in the original TED organization, the series, the speeches and that kind of thing. He's now broken off from that and he's put on these events called Speak. And every event has a different theme to it. And it's an invitation only. So uh, this theme for Saturday is family. And when he heard my story, through uh, an introduction from someone else, then he said, you got to be on on the stage. Nice. So I'm here in Long Island to speak on the family speak pop-up event. And um, it will be recorded in a studio with great equipment. And, um, you know, it's TEDx did not, they decided not to publish my talk I that I gave that. back July. Yeah, it's interesting and kind of ironic that they will... Um, silence a talk about silencing abuse victims <laughs> so, so i get to have my message heard regardless so it's going to be awesome that's <laughs> and that's great. why i'm here <laughs> i could not believe that when i read that on your facebook post how they I, I, censorship at its finest is mm. yeah when you think about the number of kids and trauma survivors that it could help and yet they decided that it was too sensitive, I guess, the subject matter. Wow. So That's anyway, great. so whatever. <laughs> what's going on with the kids? Let's see. You have an event coming up. I think it's April 7th. April 7th is a big TEDx event in Bellevue, Washington. And we have three young mentees of mine that are speaking at that event. And, you know, they're they're at the point now where they're starting to memorize their speeches because that's a required part of TEDx. And they're really diligent and determined to make this a great experience for themselves. And I cannot wait for their messages to get out there. Um, Samuel is 15. He's flying in from Oahu, Hawaii, to be part of it. And then we have Uma, who's 12. She's She's done a lot of speaking in the last couple of years with our programs. She's a best-selling author, and she's spoken on live and virtual stages all around the world. And then we have Srinika, and this is uh, Srinika. She's 11, and it will be her first real speaking opportunity. So, um, And they all have really important things to say. So really proud about that. 
And then they're also preparing for another summit called the Family Matters Summit in May in conjunction with uh, UN's International Day of the Family. And, you know, it's so cool to watch these kids think about what they could deliver in the way of a powerful message. And then they really hone in on that. And then they, they come up with great ideas about what they could do and yeah. you know, talk about their personal experience. It's just amazing. It's like yeah. When we give them a stage, they will run with it. It's, it's not like they're going to crawl into a corner. These kids, when given an opportunity, will stand up and they will speak up. And it's so great to see. And that's, that's Jackie's modus operandi with the <laughs> Speak, Feed, Lead project. If she, she, What she does is she just leads kids to find their voice and speak from their heart. And I, can, I, can, I can't even begin to imagine what I would have said at 11, 12, 13, 14 years old. But if I would have had a coach or somebody to help me figure that out, I bet I would have had a lot to say. Oh yeah, you would have. Absolutely. <laughs> I have no doubt. Amazing. <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah. So if you want to find out more, just Google Jackie Bailey, you'll come up with a plethora of things or look for the speak feed lead.org dot org speak feed dot org and you can find out more if you have a kid and you want to you want to give them you want to invest in them that the return on investment will last the rest of their life mm -hmm. these kids you watch these kids and you think that's the next president of the united states <laughs> i i swear to god you will think the same thing so check it out well i love working with the kids but i do have to give kudos to one of my coaching adult coaching clients Sharon Jessup her TEDx talk was just published mm. this past week I saw and that. it's out there now and she talks about the rhinoceros being a keystone species in the effects of our climate and um she was coached by me she had so much information because she's just an this amazing and intelligent woman she had so much information she wanted to present I'm like let's pare this down <laughs> <laughs> and so her the end result is just I'm so proud of her for doing what she did. And she's in South Africa. Wow. Very yeah, cool. Well, that's that's Jackie's other side hustle is 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 coaching adults who have a presentation or is a TEDx. She's she's becoming quite the expert on TEDx <laughs> or TED Talks, <laughs> period. Just just if yeah. you're gonna deliver a speech and you want some help, find Jackie. That's what I can say yeah thank okay you. you're very welcome my friend and we have an amazing guest today there's a song that keeps running through my head do you believe in magic <laughs> that's what we're going to talk about today with our guests but i want to remind our listeners that today's show page is at www.lifemasterradio.com you can go there and we have links to our guest and there's links to all of Jackie's books. There's links to my one book <laughs> and links to our YouTube channel. We have well over 300 shows on our YouTube channel, a plethora of topics, all things designed to lead you down the road to, on your life mastery journey. So check us out. We uh, appreciate it. Okay. On with the show. Our guest today is Chloe Pante. Did I say that right, Chloe? Ponta. 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 <laughs> Ponta. And Chloe is the author of Untapped Magic and a highly sought after mindset expert and transformational coach who helps people achieve their ultimate life goals. She uses an evidence-based proven system with scientific data to support its effectiveness to help her clients overcome obstacles that are keeping them stuck in life. Chloe has been featured in numerous media outlets, including now, da, 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 Life Mastery Radio, including Los Angeles Times, Newsweek, and Medium. And she's here today. We're going to talk about her book, Untapped Magic, Manifestation Methods for Living a Limitless Life. Where do I get it? Well, I, I want a limitless life. <laughs> Hi, Chloe. How are you today, sure. my friend? I am good. How are you? We we are delighted and excited that you are on the show today with us to share your magic. 
<laughs> yes, I'm happy. Is it I'm truly? Here. Is it truly magic? I I happen to believe it is magic, <laughs> and I I usually spell it with a J, but you spell it with a G. But I <laughs> I truly believe that it is magic. Yeah, for sure, it is. I believe that we all have our own magic that we tap into, and once we tap into that magic, it allows us to live the lives that we've always wanted to live, but we have to learn how to tap into it. And a lot of us don't know how to. So the book teaches us how to tap into that magic and create the life that we want to live. Yeah. Were I you see. one of those people that didn't know how to do it? And then you learned yeah. how to do it? Nobody yeah. knows how to do it. That's the thing. <laughs> yes, we don't I come into this know. life with the instruction booklet, right? Chloe? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it was a journey for me and I had to figure it out. And now that I have, I want to share with other people how they can tap into theirs. But definitely, we don't get a guidebook. We don't know how to tap into anything when we get here. But a lot of us get lost along the journey and we kind of feel mm -hmm. stuck. And this book helps us to get back on the path and not stray us and to keep us in line, but also to help us live the life that we want to live. And it shows that it's possible for us to have. Yeah. I was pretty impressed. I scanned through the book <laughs> and I immediately went to Amazon and I bought three copies. Oh, thank you. Because I'm going to give one to each one of my daughters. No, I, I was I was very impressed. These are things that I learned a while back. And but you put it in. You put it in a way that a young person can grasp it, of course, because you're a young person writing the book. When I wrote my book, that's what I had in mind was for young people. And I don't know if I hit that mark, although a lot of people, you know, really like the book. But I, yeah, your book is amazing. I, I just scanned through it and I'm definitely going to go back. But kudos to you, my friend. And like Appreciate I said, it. I bought a copy for each one of my daughters because I think yeah. it's powerful. I really do. <laughs> but, you know, you have an amazing story and I want to start off with that story of and and i know you don't mind sharing it it's just where you came from and how you got to where you are today with that big smile on your face yeah absolutely so i grew up in detroit michigan and i grew up on the west side of detroit in an area that was rough it wasn't a nice area but back in the 1950s when my grandmother and my grandfather first bought their home it was a very beautiful area right. and it was a great place to raise a family but unfortunately as time went on a lot of individuals who lived in that area moved out to the suburbs and then a lot of african americans moved in that drove the prices of the homes in that area down and also the prices in the suburbs of Detroit up. So it became not a good place to live over time. A lot of crime happened in the area and it just wasn't good. And even though I lived an amazing life, my mother and my grandmother, they did an amazing job raising my brother and me. And I'm who I am today because of them. I knew that I wanted to live a better life. I wanted to live in a better area. And I wanted to surround myself with people that would prevent or provide me with opportunities that I wasn't able to achieve with my environment that I grew up in. So mm. that propelled me on a journey to want to understand, well, how can I cultivate happiness? How can I get what I want in life. But when you're surrounded by people who don't know themselves, you feel kind of stuck because you don't have the tools or resources to achieve the life that you want. No one around you can tell you how you can be successful because they haven't gotten to that point yet, or at least to the success that you want to achieve. So it began with me reaching out to finding out, well, how can I live this amazing life? How can I cultivate joy and happiness in my life when I don't always feel that way? And that really allowed the universe to guide me to different people who would be able to assist me and teach me in ways I would understand as a young 20-something year old or even as a teenager in a way that made sense to me. And again, reading a lot of self-help books and you don't really understand the language or what do they mean by law of attraction or what, what do they mean by the universe? What is all of this? and not really having someone to break it down where I could understand it. I wanted to write a book that would allow someone who's in their 20s, a teenager, any age for that matter, to be able to take my book 
and take the bite-sized pieces that they can actually digest it and then they can apply the methods that work mm. because everything in the book is what I've done, my clients have done, my friends have done, my family has done to help them to actually cultivate a life of happiness. It is possible for us to have. But again, there are some of us who have been conditioned that this is the best you're going to be able to do. You can't live a limitless life. What does that even mean? And I want those people to know that, yes, you can. And the book is a tool to help you achieve that life. And no one has the power to take away your happiness. And I want people to understand that. So, And, and, and that prosperity mm-hmm. is available to everyone. Everyone has the ability to tap into prosperity, right, Chloe? That's true. It is. Prosperity is in abundance. Just as there is enough air, unlimited air for everyone to breathe, there are unlimited possibilities and potential for each and every one of us to live an abundant, wealthy, amazing, prosperous, healthy life. So I want to, again, In the book, give people principles and foundations and actual modalities and techniques that anybody can follow to understand how these methods work and how we can cultivate them in this world. So that is what the book is about. And I just want to help. Even if I help one person, I'd be really happy, but I want to help people understand that the life you want, it is possible for you to have. You just have to be open and willing and ready to have an open mind and see what else is waiting for you on the other side of fear. Right. So give us so so let's just back up just a little bit and give us an example of where you were at in your young twenties. How how can these young young people today identify with where you were at? Because I think we all get there, right? We're lost, we're dazed and confused, yeah. we don't have the answer. But describe I don't want to put words in your mouth, but describe for us where you were at in your early 20s. In my early 20s, I was lost and confused. I was (laughs) in a very abusive relationship at a very young age, and I had been groomed to believe that this person was the only person available for me, and I couldn't do any better, and I wouldn't do any better. And Mm. at that age, I believed that to be true. I was depressed. I had anxiety. I didn't like the job I was at. It was a very low paying job and I was struggling financially. And I felt as if, if this is life, I don't want to have anything to do with it. Like, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't know what else to do. And I'm very unhappy at this point in my life. And I was spiraling out of control. But in that moment of spiraling, I was asking for help. I was saying, God, the universe, I want to live. I want to live a wonderful life, but I just don't know how to do that. Can you help me? Can you send me a sign? Just in my mind, just saying these things, right? And I'm sitting on the floor one day in my apartment, just browsing through a Craigslist because that's what I used to do. I used to just browse through Craigslist for opportunities or just whatever, And I stumbled upon this ad and the ad was about a month old and it was for a workout partner that someone was looking for this other young woman. So I said, you know, Hey, I want to work out, buddy. I want to be able to get in better shape. So (laughs) I clicked on the ad and um, I sent a message. And then a little bit later she responded like, yeah, I'm still looking for someone. Nobody responded to me yet. So why don't we meet up? And we met at her house. Now, I'm about 20 years old, 21, 22, and she's 10 years older than me. And her home is in one of the most affluent areas in Detroit, well, in the Metro Detroit area. It's in Northfield, Michigan. It's a very beautiful suburb of Detroit, gorgeous rolling hills and beautiful estates. And she happened to live there. And I was blown away by the amount of wealth that she was able to create for herself at such a young age. And I felt, wow, like she's trusting me, a stranger to come to her home and to meet her. When I met her, I had this instant attraction, such as I had this connection where I felt as if I'm in the right place. I met the perfect place at the perfect time. And the spiraling, that idea just kind of like dissipated, disappeared. And she had the same thing with me where 
she felt as I was a long lost sister and we had an instant connection as if we'd known each other for a long, long time. And by me being introduced to her, I was able to figure out what was possible for me to have because she had that. And if she's only 10 years older than me, well, that's possible for me to have, right? Like if she can get this type of life, then I can also achieve this type of life. And I would ask her questions. She was very open with me. But also I found someone who I was looking for, someone who had the success that I myself wanted to achieve. And she was able to mentor me and to help me to also achieve success with the way I think, with how I behave, how to change my actions, how to also hang around other people that would also uplift me. And then for those mm. who were toxic, how to distance myself from them, but also how to get rid of them. And that person really has changed my life because at that point, I had no desire to want to go forward with my life. And I'm 20 something. I have my whole life of, ahead of me, right? But in that moment, I felt so lost. I felt so alone and I really didn't know what to do. But simply asking for guidance, the universe was able to guide me to someone similar in age who would be able to help me to turn my life around because I was asking for help. Mm. And I think that that simple Craigslist ad changed my life because without her of course I would probably not have done anything crazy but I believe that she guided me to say hey Chloe you're needed here in this world you are needed and this is possible for you to have so she mirrored that to me in a time where I didn't know that even existed in my life wow that's amazing you know what I was going to ask you <clears throat> why you think this shift toward misalignment you know with who we are and what our mission is when that happened I think I don't know exactly the when but I think why is that we've come to depend so much on outside influences economic conditions relationships that we've lost touch with with who we really are do you believe that too? Does that make sense? I do. I do believe that. <laughs> and I believe that at that time I was misaligned because I was chasing money. I was like, mm -hmm. oh, everyone I know, they have to hustle to get something, right? So that means I have to hustle to get something. And I just focused on hustling, trying to find a better paying job that would allow me to live a better life. Even though I hated the job, I wasn't happy. I was misaligned because I was not focusing on my core values and beliefs or my inner authority. I was simply focusing on a way to make ends meet, but I wasn't focusing on what I was brought in this world to do, which is to find out what my inner authority is and to chase that dream, which obviously is writing, helping other people live their most amazing lives. And if I would have done that, I would have been in alignment with who I am authentically. So I think a lot of us, especially young kids, we look at our favorite celebrities on the media and on social, <laughs> you know, on Instagram, and we think, oh, well, I want to look like them or I want to be like that, but it doesn't align with who we are. And I had to stop that. So I had to turn off social media, I had to turn off the news because it was affecting my mental health, but also it was not in alignment with who I am on an authentic level. And I think once we step into our whole authentic selves, we then attract the life that we want because then the universe is saying, okay, you've stepped into who you were meant to be. You've peeled back the layers of pain and shame and marginalization and pre-programming and invisibility. And you are who you are unapologetically. I'm going to send you more abundance, more mm. prosperity because you are stepping into your power. And it took me a while to get here, but that is what was missing. At that time, I was not in alignment with what I wanted to do and who I wanted to become. And, and there's the magic, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> because wow. I just want to highlight some things. You turned off the noise, mm -hmm. right? And allowed yourself to explore yourself. Is that what I heard? Yeah, absolutely. I had to turn it off, but a lot of us, we don't know how to, right? right? 
so many of us, we don't want to be disconnected. There's the fear of missing out. There's yeah. the fear of, I don't want to be seen as, you know, not popular or no one's going to like me if I don't do what they're doing or if I don't act a certain way, but it's completely the opposite. As well, that's, matter- that's not the connection. That's yeah. not the connection that you want to be connected to. Yeah, but so many of us need that connection because we don't want to feel left out, right? And it's difficult for a lot of us to do that. But I had to say to myself, if you continue down this path, you're not going to be happy. Let's try something new. Let's just try being who we are on an authentic level. Mm. And then let the people who were meant to be in our lives, let them be attracted to that Chloe not the Chloe who we have to pretend to be. And the mask fell off and I became my authentic self when I was in my power at that time. So, yeah. And you, and you mentioned that you asked for help too. That's, that was a big issue is I think we need to realize that maybe there are people who can help us to achieve that. If we're feeling alone or like, you know, we're just trying to be like somebody else and wondering who am I, you know? So what are some of the steps that you advise people to take in your book? Mm -hmm. What, where should they start? Is it about self-acceptance or is it something else? It's definitely about self-love. That's the foundation for anything. If we don't love ourselves then we're not going to attract people who are going to love us on an authentic level. And that's when we find ourselves with people who are toxic, people who don't respect us because we don't respect ourselves on an inner level. And I think, We have to learn to love ourselves where we are right now, not 20 pounds lighter, not this, not that. It has to be right now. And a lot of us were so caught up with, oh, I don't look like that yet. So no one's going to love me or I'm too old. So no one's going to want me or I'm too this, I'm too that. And if we continue down that path, we're going to spiral out of control because we're getting further away from who we are authentically. But once we realize that self-love is the foundation and we love ourselves wholly and fully for who we are right now, that is when we attract the ideal perfect partner. We attract ideal opportunities because we are now unapologetically ourselves. So the foundation is loving ourselves. It's self-love. The second foundation is learning to understand, well, what limiting beliefs do we have that are preventing us from living fully and wholly? What are those limiting beliefs? Did something happen in our childhood where we felt unloved or unwanted or that it's not going to be enough for us to have or we have to hustle to get a good career or do what we want to do? We have to go back to our childhood and then examine when that first came up and when we felt stuck. We then have to unblock in that area. So unblocking, when I say that, it means cultivating self-love, being grateful where we are right now. It doesn't mean accepting things and just being content, but it means that knowing that where you are right now in this moment in time is exactly where you are based upon what you've done in the past up until this up until this moment. If you're not happy with that, then you're going to have to re-examine well, what can I do to cultivate change? What are some limiting beliefs I can let go of and cultivate in new beliefs? The third thing that we have to do is we have to start to believe and feel what we want to have in this life is possible for us to have. If we want to have an amazing career, we have to actually do the work and go out and find that new career. That can mean doing a certification. That can mean building rapport with our leadership team and our our job. That can mean something totally radically new and trusting the universe to guide us there, but also putting in the aligned, actionable steps to get to that point in time. That can mean getting certification again. That's an aligned, actionable step. Building rapport, that's an aligned, actionable step. Applying for new jobs, that's an aligned, actionable step. Doing the work and then trusting that what you've done is going to come back to you because you put the work in. But Mm -hmm. feeling what it would feel like to actually have that as your life. How would it feel to be the new CEO of a company or a new VP? How would that feel? And then believing that it's already yours, but you haven't met that moment in time where you were there yet. So that's what I believe is the next foundation. And the last one is reinforcing. Reinforcing all that you've done. Cultivating self-love 
taking the aligned actionable steps, unblocking in areas, being grateful. Once we do that, we then uplift our level of how we feel. We're on a more higher energetic level. And at that point in time, we can then begin to bring in all the goodness, all the abundance, all the self-worth, all the love, because we are now raising our vibrational frequency level to one that is cultivating ease and flow and joy and happiness and abundance. So those mm. steps that we have to take to live a limitless life. Easily wow. said, but it just takes practice, right? I mean, it's yeah. it's easy to talk about it, but it's, it's practice. And so something I heard you talk about was you found a model. How important in your teachings or in your modalities is finding somebody to model after so we all we all have that right i mean it can be a celebrity it can be someone we look up to and aspire to be it can be someone we're even envious of because we feel like why do they why do they have what i want and i don't have that right but that simply is a mirror. It's telling you what is possible for you to have, especially when they look like you. Like, wow, if she's a successful actress, I can become a successful actress. Or if she's a successful singer, I can become a successful singer. If she's a New York Times bestselling author, I can also be a New York Times bestselling author. But when we see this, sometimes we get envious, we feel jealousy, we feel anger, because we feel as if they've made it, but we haven't. When we find someone that has what we want, and they look like us, it's basically the universe letting us know this is possible for you to have. And then we can take that person, their qualities or whatever they have that we want, and we can add them to a list and also include the qualities that we want to add from our own that motivates us to go after our goals because we know it's possible for us too to live that kind of life. And I think some of us, we feel so envious or jealous of what others may have that we actually lose sight of the message. And the message is simply letting us know this is simply a mirror letting you know that this can be you. You mm -hmm. can do this as well. So yeah, that's important. And it is important to understand like this is nothing to be envious of it's simply a mirror letting you know you can have this life here's the path do your aligned actionable steps and you can get there as well so, yeah, so it, what i was going to say is it's important not to idolize right mm -hmm. you don't want to idolize but just realize you're modeling this person in in achieving what's going to be right for you look mm -hmm. this person did this look look at look at this and, and not to idolize them, but to know that you can get there too. Yeah. And I would just say, use them as a study guide. Mm -hmm. You're not using them to idolize them or to be like them because you yourself are unique. No one will ever be just right. like, that right? was my point. Yeah. But it's just use them as a study guide. It can be a collaborative effort of different types of people that have different types of qualities, but it's just, know that what they have, their confidence, their demeanor, their success, these are all qualities and traits that you yourself possess in your own special way. And I think once we realize that, we no longer will have feelings of envy or jealousy or anger because we know that we can have in this life what we want if we just apply ourselves, but also get over procrastination and take small, bite-sized, actionable steps and get where we want to go. So a lot of us feel that, but we don't know how to do it. We don't know where to go. And this, this book, my book, Untapped Magic, teaches you exactly what to do to get to that point in your life. Well, tell us about that. Tell us about the process that you teach in your book. Are there exercises? Are there mantras or affirmations? Um, you know, what, what, what will they find there? So in the book, I have created what I call magic actions in the book. So after every chapter, there's either a magic action, a magic moment, or a go even deeper. So magic action is when you actually have to take action to get somewhere. You can't just read the book and put it down. Oh, well, that, that was a good chapter. Okay, <laughs> wait, I'm done. wait, I'm going to think about it. I'm going to think yeah. about it. <laughs> you know, what's for dinner tonight? Like, that's not it. You have to actually put in the work. So 
that way a reader can then continue their own journey once they finish a chapter. A mm. magic moment is a mantra or an exercise. So it can be a breathing technique. It can be saying an affirmation such as everything will always work out for me. I am worthy of having what I want in this world. Those are mantras that people will say that will obviously mean something to them that will propel them to believe in what they're saying. So the subconscious mind is then going to hear this over and over again, and you're going to believe that it's going to become your truth once you continue mm. to say it. So that's what the, the magic mantras are, the magic moments are rather. And then we have go even deepers. So go even deepers. They're what I call creative imaginings. They're a type of subliminal audio and their music audios. They're me saying affirmations to you. You listen to them. And again, on a subconscious level, your subconscious mind is going to take this as your truth. I am worthy. I have all the abundance I need in this world. Everything will always work out for me. I have amazing health. Whatever the mantra is, your subconscious will take that again as your new truth, as your new reality. So I've made them so that people, again, after the chapter, there's work to be done, but also can go even deeper in the book and live out truly an amazing life with the tools I give you in the book. Wow. So what have you heard? Have you heard from people who've read the book? that something yeah. for them shifted or changed? What kinds of feedback are you getting? I did. I did another radio show yesterday and the host, she actually said that she loves chapter 13. It's been really popular for removing toxic people from your life, but also mm -hmm. that the uh, creative imaginings, she goes to sleep with them. So she goes to bed, puts on her headphones, and then she says she wakes up refreshed and just in a really good mood and that they're helping her to actually feel better. So I felt really grateful about that. And people have been like, I love your book. It's helped me so much. I really enjoy what you've written about, especially because if people are younger, when you read a book, you want to be able to relate to it. And this book does that. So I'm really happy for younger people, the younger generation that are like this book, it's working for me. And, you know, I really appreciate it. So I'm happy yeah. about the feedback that I'm getting. Okay. I, I can cl I can clearly state that this book is a game changer. It it you you get this book in the hands of young people, even adults. Um, mm -hmm. it's a game changer if 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 they take the action, right, Chloe? They got to take yeah, the action. They do, cool. and that's what the book is about. It's just it keeps reminding you you have to do something. You can't just sit around and shoulda, coulda, woulda land. You have to actually do something in order to change where you are right now if you're not where you want to be so this book is your cheerleader it's your your guide your mentor to help you get to that point so i'm happy that people are actually reading the book and they're finding it really helpful it makes me feel really helpful it makes me feel really great so yeah you mentioned it just a little bit you talked a little bit about the subconscious but in my belief the subconscious is really the magician right is, is the... yes it is it is the magician and that's why the book is untapped magic because you have to tap into your mind which is the untapped magic your untapped potential in order to change your life and so many of us we don't use our minds and i want people to understand that you have to there was a quote by earl nightingale and he said that so many of us go to the stove and we ask the stove to give us heat, but we don't put any wood into the stove. Right. And for those who don't know, Earl Nightingale was a prominent figure back in the 1950s and 60s. He was a radio personality, a motivational speaker. And listening to his audios have also helped me, but it made so much sense because it's like, I can't just expect something to happen and not do anything, right? Right. And so many of us do that. We go through life blindly because we don't know what to do or we're just like, oh, well, I said my mantra, so that, that was the work. No, it's not. You have to continue <laughs> to do the work. If you want to become a great speaker, you can't just, you know, think about it in your mind, what you're going to say. You have to practice. You have to write it down. You have to memorize it, right? It's a whole process to get to that point. 
And the book is kind of reiterating what you have to do in order to make this thing really work and become your real life. And and what? you have to keep your head up, right, Chloe? Yeah, you do. I mean, you have to keep your head up yeah. and your tail out from between your legs and <laughs> on the alert because it's my belief the universe is going to send you opportunities based on what you're thinking. And if your head isn't up and your tail, if you're not ready, yeah, you dismissed it. Exactly. And, you know, our subconscious mind, it records our long-term memories, our emotions, our feelings, our thoughts, our conscious minds what we're aware of right now. Like we're talking to each other. This is our conscious awareness, but the subconscious mind, it houses everything, even from when we were a baby an adolescent, a young adult. And that becomes a truth, right? Yeah. So if we want to change that, we want to change those old habits, we have to cultivate a new way of thinking and we have to always rise above negativity. And I just want people to realize that even one positive thought can obliviate a thousand negative thoughts. That's mm -hmm. how powerful a positive thinking is. So it's so important for us to always do that. And so this isn't just like a six week or eight week program, right? And then bam, your life has changed and you move, no. you move forward as usual. This is something that once you learn how to do it, it is a lifelong practice in doing it, right? Well, Chloe yeah. is teaching life mastery. That's what she is teaching. She's teaching yeah. life mastery. I'm so happy you mentioned that, Jackie, because this book, it is something that you have to incorporate throughout your entire life. Just like you brush your teeth every day, you comb your hair every day, you're going to have to live this life every single day. You're going to have to cultivate what you learn in the book on a daily basis because that's how you get lifelong results. You can't just say, okay, I did it for two days. I, nothing's changed. What? This doesn't work. <laughs> two days. What do you expect? You know, yeah. so you have to do the work continuously to reap the benefits for lifelong effect. So that's important. Well, I'm finding too, that when I begin to manifest something, it does take a while for the universe to work out all the deets, right? <laughs> <laughs> so that I can then start seeing the actual manifestation happening. So it, it is something that you can't, it, it, you're going to get the most from by doing it every day for the rest of your life because it because what yeah. you're doing today is actually manifesting something six or eight or nine months down the road right well yeah it, it that does depend but here's here's what i know is sometimes you have to be really careful of what you think about <laughs> yeah <laughs> right chloe i mean you you have to be consciously aware of what it is you're paying attention to and what you're thinking about because ba bam you might just end up with it you know, it's that, but it's also the feeling, the combination of feeling right. as it has happened. So when you think about something, but you also feel it, you also have these scenarios in your mind where that thing happens, then more than likely it's going to happen because you are putting feeling into the thought, which is going to make it real. But if you put the feeling into a thought that's going to be positive, then that outcome will more than likely become a positive thought a positive manifestation in your life a lot of us don't know but the universe it brings to us what we think about plus the feeling because it doesn't know what right or wrong is what good or bad is it just knows what is it's based upon what you believe in so whatever you believe in and you put feeling to that that's going to show up in your life but if you want to cultivate a better life you have to mind your thoughts but also the feeling behind those thoughts, because the feeling part is what's going to bring that thing into your world, whether you want it or not. So that's what people don't really understand as to, well, how did this happen? You're putting feeling into it. That's how it happened. You know? Well, there's another part of it, too, that I was taught, and that is it's either going to be what you're thinking about or something better. Mm -hmm. That's true. There, there's a there's a there's an old meme that says if you really want to make god laugh what is it if you really want to make god laugh tell, tell him your, tell him your plan, your plan. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah 
So, well, so where can they get your book, Chloe? Tell us, um, I'm assuming it's on Amazon, but maybe there's some other places. And then yeah, are there ways that they can work with you beyond reading the book? Of course. So my book is on Amazon. It's on Goodreads, Barnes and Nobles, Target, wherever books are sold um, in English speaking countries. So the US, Canada, uh, New Zealand, Australia, the UK, but also you can reach me on my website. It's chloeponta.co. It's chloeponta.co. And if you'd like to learn more about how you can work with me, you can click on the link in my website, work with me, and we can talk one-on-one. -on -one. That's what and it's what also, that, what is... the, the link is on lifemasteryradio.com. So if you, you have us bookmarked, you can go there and look at Chloe's show page today, and there's the link right to her. What does it look like to work with you, Chloe? What, what would people expect mm -hmm. in that uh, relationship? So working with me, I work in an intimate group setting and you get me one-on-one -on -one as well, but I help you to cultivate the life that you want. So we talk about your goals. We do a human design analysis, which is, I think, really important to do to understand how you think, how you process information, how you manifest things in your life. And I also help you to achieve what you want to achieve in this world with the roadmap for success. So that's what it looks like to work with me and to actually fast track your way to manifesting the life of your dreams. Cool. I like it. All right. And so Very you work with regard. young people and old people like me. <laughs> You're not You're old. You're not old. Not oh, old. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I do. I'm older. You. I'm older than you are. <laughs> I I've got news you. for you, man. We're old. <laughs> You're not old. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but no, I, I do work with teenagers, young okay. adults. Most of my clients actually are women in their 50s and 60s um, because they feel that they need, they want to change their lives at that time. Mm. So I'm happy to work with yeah. anybody. But I have a plethora of clients from all walks of life and all age groups. So... Excellent. Okay, so a question just popped in my head. I I ordered three books from Amazon, and now I'm thinking there's a couple more people I'd like to order the book <laughs> from. I noticed there's a Kindle. Mm -hmm. So my big question is, when does the audio come out? The audio is already out. Is I it? I think it's, so. I didn't see it on audiobooks. I'll have to check it. but I Okay, it's, it's coming then. So that answers my question, <laughs> because yes. I, I, I like to listen to books in my rolling university mm, nice yeah do you so. have a copy of your book to show Chloe? it looks like there's one behind you but is there one you can put up to the camera so we can see a little bit better because I, I thought the cover was so cool it yeah. is i love it it's really colorful because i kind of wanted to resemble the diversity of colors diversity of people and just that i don't know magical beautiful light and this is kind of what this does mm. and it just something that I was attracted to the cover yeah wanted people to be drawn to the colors that are that are in this book so yay but nice. this is work and this is how it looks you guys want to pick it up cool Excellent. Chloe Chloe is she's the song Jackie do you believe in <laughs> magic in a young girl's heart right there's Chloe <laughs> nice so how do you see your life going forward then, Chloe? What magic are you stirring up for yourself beyond this book and your career? So, I mean, I'm working on another book project, which we talked about. So that's happening. Um, but I mean, I recently moved to Seattle. So, I mean, this is another part of my journey and I'm I'm happy. I love it here. But just cultivating and bringing in more ease, more flow, more peace, more joy, that just continuing to learn about manifestation and grow my practice and deepen my knowledge on manifestation and how I can help other people. But that's what I'm doing and just enjoying life, to be honest with mm. you. So, yeah. Awesome. Wow. We only have about five minutes left, Chloe. Thank you. So this hour just flew by. I know. <laughs> but, like an hour. What, are, what are we forgetting i mean we covered a lot of ground and you mm -hmm. you are i'm so proud of you i'm just amazed and mm -hmm. and don't stop because you 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 have 
the magic and you have the magic for others. I, I truly believe that. <laughs> but what are we missing? Anything? Anything else come to mind? You know, I would say for someone who's looking to change their life, but not just kind of looking for a book that will get them somewhere short term, but to change your life long term, my book will help you with that because the book will give you tools that will teach you lifelong, not just going to the lake, right. give a man, you know, a fishing rod. Okay, here's your fish. Have a nice day. But teaching someone how to fish, that way they can feed themselves forever. And this book, Untapped Magic, it'll teach you how to live your most joyous life, how to wake up happy every single day, how to understand how to handle negative people, toxic people, how to make yourself feel loved and cared for and supported and to feel safe and secure and protected because so many of us, we don't feel that we don't have that, right? This book will give you the tools to be able to do that for yourself, how to find your perfect partner, because so many of us, we need love. We want companionship, how to attract the right partner, how to rekindle a broken relationship, how to forgive others, even if you don't forget what they've done to you, who've done wrong to you or who have harmed you in some way. So this book teaches us holistically how to live an amazing life and it's for anyone any walk of life it was written for people who were younger because I'm a young person and I wanted to write for someone who would read this book as a teenager or as a 20 something year old but even people in their 60s or 70s or 80s have said to me this book is changing my life so it's for anyone any walk of life and I want people to know that there is hope for you you can live your most amazing life and never give up, never give your power away to anyone because you are a star and you deserve to live your most amazing, limitless life. You are needed in this world. See, Jackie, we're not too old. I guess not. And I was thinking too, <laughs> Chloe, that uh, it sounds like maybe this could be a benefit to cl to couples who could read it together. Mm. Absolutely. Right? People who are struggling with their relationship, um, the book has so many stories of people who have called in partners, those who have found love after loss, after divorce. So this book will help you no matter where you are in your walk of life. This will help you to live your life, but understand your partner and how to love them better and how they can love you better. So it cool. talks about that too. Cool. Well, I don't know about you, Jackie, but what do you think? I think, I think somebody needs some coaching for a TED talk. Oh. <laughs> yeah you know ted, ted is a little bit ted um well now jackie's like involved in another one yep. <clears throat> they like scientific based things and they're not so much into the subconscious whatever yeah. but you know they they it's not to say that they wouldn't publish it but it would be have to there would be a particular perspective to come at it through. i bet she could articulate her message <laughs> to fit it she could she could yeah yeah, okay. absolutely. You heard it right here on Life Master Radio, Chloe. <laughs> I know, a, I know a coach that we could really help you, and she's getting involved with another type of that's right. Ted, Ted venue. Speak it's events. Get, yeah. What do you think, Jackie? Is it going to get popular? Are there more venues? Oh yeah, gonna... oh yeah. This is going to be big. It's going to be a big thing. And that's you know, there's lots of other people that are putting together things like that to compete with yeah. with TEDx um there's blue talks and there's um action era talks mm -hmm. there's a lot going on that um, are giving people stages and you know that's I appreciate it that's what we're all about yeah. and I, I because all of those stages are different you can tweak your message just a, bit, a little bit differently for that particular audience and then it helps you to be a more well-rounded speaker yeah. because you can shift and tweak as you need to to make the best uh, relevant information available to your audience. So I love it. It's awesome. And summits, summits are popular these days too. So. Yep. So, yeah. Chloe, you got to You got to do everything possible to get your message out. <laughs> because yes. I, I'm telling you, you have power. You have especially the as an author, you need to be speaking now. Yep. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yep. Oh my Thank goodness, you. ladies, we are about out of time. Chloe, any last parting shots? Any, anything quickly that you want to say? I just want to wish everybody an amazing day. Thank yeah. you for listening. If you're watching, thanks for watching. 
and you have your unlimitless magic. It lies within you. So use your untapped magic to change your life. Woohoo! Jackie, what did you pick up? <laughs> Oh, I loved it. Thank you, Chloe. It was just fun to hear you. Um, you are so eloquent and yeah. um, magnetic in what you say. And I'm this book is going to really change the lives for a lot of people. So thank you for putting that out there in the world. Huge, huge potential. Huge potential. Don't stop, Chloe. Keep that smile. That's that big smile <laughs> is going to take you places. So. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed the show. I My biggest hope is that you'll tell a friend about the show. Life Master Radio, this is Todd and Jackie. They have this YouTube channel with a plethora of topics that you can explore and listen to. And it's all designed for you and your Life Mastery journey. So check us out. Lastly, please, please, please make it a great day because it's all about choice. And choose to pick... Choose to find Chloe's book. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to Life Mastery Radio. Join Todd Allen and Jackie Bailey and their guests of leading authors, speakers, coaches, and entrepreneurs weekly at 10 a.m. Pacific. Learn to live a peaceful life with intentional mastery through stories and messages to support your well-being and most evocative dreams. Visit their website, www.lifemasteryradio.com. Join their mailing list and be notified about upcoming guests. That's lifemasteryradio.com.